What is up guys, this is going to be the level 25 priest SOD bis list. This is going to be the updated version. Right. And this is going to include all of the new BFD loot that we didn't actually know about. I told you guys the other bis list was a preliminary one. We didn't know everything that was out yet. This one's going to include everything that is now out. So this is going to be probably the definitive one for this tier now. It's going to include some really juicy items, but make sure you watch until the end because there are a few different options for each slot. And I kind of explain why certain things are better and in, in, in you know what way. I get so many people coming and asking me questions about, you know, why isn't this on here? Why isn't that on there? If you uh, if you just watch one second of the video and you screenshot the bis list and you're like, okay, good, now see you, bye. You're going to miss all that good stuff, all that explanation, all the extra items that you could be going for and picking up. So you might be ending up past an item that you actually might, you know, need at the end of the day or might be very close to the bis as well at the end of the day. So I really recommend you just watch and, and take the time to listen to sort of my explanation. It's not that long. I totally want to do that. And if you did like it, give it a, give it obviously a like, drop a comment if you have any, uh, any suggestions. Make sure you drop us a subscribe as well if you did like it so that you can see other guides in the future like this. We, uh, we have some very interesting numbers on the subscriber front currently in terms of how many people that watch the video are subscribed. I'm not too sure. All right, cut, cut. Right, best list, let's see, 60 upgrades. So we've got a few few changes on the best list, a lot fewer eagle items and a lot more BFD loot. We've also got some items we didn't even know existed uh, from PVP and things like that as well. There are a couple of things that I will we'll, we'll talk about, we'll highlight. Distinctions depending on whether you're doing like world PVP or BGs. But for example, we start on the helm. We've got the Twilight Invoker Shawl and we're going to be trying to run two set for this for world PVP. For BGs, you can also run, and for BGs, I mean Warsong Gotch, right? You can run the Resilient Cloth Headband. Thank you. Why are you trying to get so much attention? You're not getting attention, mate. Now, the Resilient, Resilient Cloth Headband, very good. But also, if you're not getting targeted a lot, if you're, like, playing a pre-made against randoms or something, you're chilling at the back, then you don't need to run this, right? You can take this off and you can run this for more healing and mana, which is fine. Uh, neck is Droplet Choker. And you also have the option for Jagged Bone. It has more than one armor on it. It's like 70 armor or something. This is nice for tanking. If you can grab this, it's, it's okay as well. But Droplet Choker with the six stamina is really, really good. Shoulders is Ashari Novice Shoulder Pads. Pretty much, you're going to be your main option. You also have the Frayed Chestnut Mantle, but I just think the stats on Ashari Novice's Shoulder Pads are really high. So, yeah, I think this is, this is the go. And then Cloak is just Sergeant's Cloak from rank three. Battle Healer Cloak is okay as well. You can probably, again, run this in Warsong if you're just turret healing at the back. It scales really well with Palm and Penance, so you're just going to do chunky healing. But for World PvP, probably Sergeant's Cloak. Chest is going to be Invokers, but you can also run the Clam Tunic, the, the, the Clam with Vest, wherever it is. This one. And this one's going to make me way more tanky. So this one's pretty good for World PvP, but then this one's going to be better for BGs. Um, but yeah, you kind of have the option between those two. Yeah, a lot of armor on the clam one. Braces, there's not much choice. It's still going to be an eagle item. Weirdly, there's like no good braces from the raid. Um, mind thrust, kind of sucky. Minus five stam, not what we want. So we just go for the 4-4 eagles. If you see one of these on auction house for like, I don't know, 15 gold or less. Probably a, probably a grab. I saw one on, on auction house for 15 gold today. Couldn't afford it. It was tragic. And then someone sniped it. Very unfortunate. And then weapon's going to be Rod of the Sleepwalker. Just insanely gross stats on this thing. Going to be tricky to get, though. It's not that common to drop, but yeah, this is probably the best. Other options are going to be um, the Dagger. Pick this up today. This is a banger. Good stats on it. Armor as well. And then you can run the... Um, which one's it going to be? There was, there was a banger offhand I got today in the raid. This one. 40 armor, 4 stam, 3 in... Five shatterers. So this is a pick, a good pickup as well. So you're nice. You got like a hundred extra armor from weapons from from getting those. Um, other option is going to be the witch's finger. Is fine. Um, Tome of Cavern Law is okay. So there's a few different options there. Now gloves. These gloves are insanely gross and absolutely shit on anything else by far. The black fingerless gloves. If you can get these. They're better than everything else. Uh, if you haven't got these yet, then you just get the Shredder Gloves. They're pretty cheap to get. You just do a Lost Pages quest in Ashen Vale. You can probably get these for under a gold. Belt, Gamora's Cinch. 
slightly better than the Warsong belt. This is uh, from the the quest in Ashevale as well. Pretty cheap to get as well. So you can get this first and then upgrade to this. Uh, Soul Age pants, again, are very, very good. Pretty much the best choice, I would say. Actually, the Gaze Dreamer leggings are kind of close. A little bit more spirit and intellect, but less healing and, or damage and healing. But I'd say you can go for either of these, actually. Both of these are good. But after those, Tiny Kitten, come on, you need to sit down, mate. We're doing important things right now. Uh, Dark Weavers are okay, but it's going to cost you because it's a wild drop. Uh, I'd say you're best off just going for like a, an eagle if you can get a cheap one. Eagle's fine. Uh, silver thread are okay as well. Tiny Kitten, I know you're hungry, mate. I know it's 12. It's when you normally get fed, isn't it? Uh, boots is obviously just going to be the epic boots. Uh, because the, the it's actually 30% 10 minute cooldown. They nerfed it, but it's still insane. Good stats. Got hit on it. Damage. Nothing, nothing to complain about on that one. Easy choice for basically everything. Then we've got the Deep Fathom Ring. And on here, I've got Planes Ring. Realistically, you're not getting Planes Ring. This is going to be absurdly expensive if anyone ever actually gets a drop. You have to farm quite high stuff for it. I think it's... Is it RFK? Where this drops? It's Planes Ring drop. Yeah, RFK. Zone drop minus uh, 0.1%. Like, honestly, this is there's not going to be many of these. So, you can go for... Uh, <coughs> what's it called? There's a 3-3 ring on Horde from a quest. Uh, you could go for Advisor's Ring. It's fine too. I'm probably going to go for Advisor's Ring uh, from Warsong Honored. Just because it's got two, two stam, got a good regen on it. And uh, some damage and healing. But you can also go for a 3-3 ring. That's fine. You could go for like a Queen's Jewel or a uh, Black Pearl Ring as well if you can get a cheap one. But don't go breaking the bank for it. Ever Sustaining Ring from the raid is fine too. You know, there's a few different options there. Obviously, planes is the best, but you got a few different options to go for. Uh, Trinket, this is a really tricky one. You got this is from a quest, right, from the last boss, and you're basically choosing. You can either go for eight dam or twenty healing. I think twenty healing is going to be better for BGs. Eight dam is going to be better for world PVP. So depending on what you care more about, that's kind of your choice. I think personally, I'm going to probably probably be taking the eight uh, the, the, the 20 healing um but it depends how uh how competitive the warsong scene is if it's just you're rolling everyone every game then it doesn't really matter and maybe the the world pvp is going to be more interesting to to gear for but yeah we'll have to see on that one but yeah that's that's personal choice i would say i'm not going to tell you one way or the other it really does depend on what you're what you're wanting to do then Trinket is just PvP Trinket. You can rotate out for a minor Rico if it's on cooldown. Or like Rune of Perfection or something. It's fine too. If you don't have one of these. And then Wand is going to be this banger. Phoenix Ignition. So you can get this one from the quest. Just from doing the raid. There's a, a quest mob in there. And you'll get this for killing the shadowy boy at the end. Before the uh, the Hydro boss. And it's it's... Absolute banger one, 32 DPS. Even better than the normal one, which is insane that they actually upgraded it. Uh, but then there's this this guy, right? It's a little bit less DPS, but 1.2 speed with 5 intellect. So this is actually insane, this one. Definitely want to get this if you can. Uh, I would say even though the DPS is less and there's no shadow res on it, it's just 5 int and 1.2 speed. It's like, hell yeah, give me that shit. Um, but yeah. That's, that's everything. That's my picks. If I've missed any, let me know. But yeah, that's that's what I'm going to be aiming for myself. We're nearly there, actually. We've got a few of these items, you know. We, we <coughs> The main pickups we're still looking for. They're going to be the biggest upgrades. Probably the gloves, the legs, uh, the robe, the, the, the rod, obviously. The main bits I'd say we're missing. Phoenix Ignition would be nice as well. But uh, one not that big of an upgrade, I guess. But yeah, that's my best list. Uh, updated for the BFD loot. Hopefully that was a little bit more satisfactory than, hey, get Eagle in every slot. But yeah, it's looking good. Looking fun. Good luck in your BFD runs, boys. Tony Kitten. Wait, who's got to cause problems? You're just causing problems, mate. Who's got to cause problems? Hey.